we are at the Hilton Westchester uh, doing some demonstration on how to cook in the grill at the hearth party, patio. Um, we're going to do beef tenderloin. Um, first step that I want to show you is how to remove the skin, silver skin, to ensure that your fillet is not tough. You can ask your butcher to remove this. Beef tenderloin we're going to do in salt and pepper. So we re here we have our beef tenderloin. Uh, it's marinated and ready to be uh, put in the grill. Um, piece of this size you want to start it on the direct heat so high heat this piece you really don't want to move it too much uh, so you want to get it nicely marked from that size before you flip it okay. a size of beef tender only this size will take at least 15 to 17 minutes We are in the season of, grill, of vegetables, so we're going to do some uh, zucchinis, yellow squashes, and some fennel. Um, fennel, we're going to cut them in wedges. I like to keep the quart of the fennel. And that way it doesn't fall off when you place them in the grill. Zucchinis, we're going to take this part off and discard. And we're going to take the bottom off, discard, and we're going to cut them in quarters. Again, we're going to keep it all big pieces, and that way it's much easier to manage in the grill. Yellow squash, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did with the zucchinis, just a little bit smaller. So instead of two, we get three wedges. We're going to place all our vegetables in a mixing bowl. Fennel, zucchini, and yellow squash. We're going to sprinkle some salt on some of our herb marinade. And right before we place our vegetables in a grill, we're going to go and check on our beef tenderloin. Our goal of temperature of this beef tenderloin, we're going to take it around medium rare, medium. So we have about eight more minutes for that. We're going to come back to our vegetables. Make sure all the marinade gets into each one of them. In vegetables, you get to play with them as far as how long. Each vegetable takes different times to cook it on the grill. I like to keep them, even though I marinate them all together, I like to keep them all separate when I place them on the grill. Out of the three vegetables, fennel is going to be the one that's going to take the longest, so I want to keep that one closer to the fire. So beef tenderloin this size will fit eight to ten people. So we're gonna move our beef tenderloin to rest to the side. We're gonna allow it to rest for at least five to six minutes. 
our vegetables are ready. So we're going to serve them straight to the plate. So we're going to go from the grill to the plate. We're going to add some extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to chicken our beef tenderloin. Uh, when you slice it, you don't want to slice it too thick or too thin. Um, I like to start slicing from the tip up. Always in a bias. So now we're going to place it on a plate. Let's start from the top. So we're going to finish and garnishing our beef tenderloin with herb salad, chervil, parsley, extra virgin olive oil. Always season your herbs or your lettuces. Place it right on top of the beef tenderloin. And there it is. Whole beef tenderloin cooked at the grill and summer vegetables.